What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Ride With Purpose. Yes, I am inside the big red bitch, but for good reason. Uh, first and foremost, oh, Chuck here needs, uh, she needs some breakfast. And uh, two, we're at the car wash. I got to give this thing a bath. It is disgusting. But uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about seats once again. And um, if you guys remember back, uh, I guess it was in May or so, I got a seat sent to me from uh, CC Rider. And um, it is a extended reach seat that I put on Brother Mook's bike for him. Um, it was a more of a comparable seat for what he was riding, which was a stock Harley seat. And so for a good, um, a, a real review on it, um, it wasn't very fair to go take off my, my saddle and road sofa, which is a six $700 seat, and try to compare it to the CC Rider. It just it's, it, it doesn't work that way. But this uh, CC Rider seat is meant to be uh, more compared to the stock Harley seat, which was what Brother Mook had on his bike. So he's been riding it. And um, he has uh, well over 10,000 miles on that seat, and he absolutely loves it. It's, it's a good seat. It still looks good. Um, yeah, so I reached back out to them about a month ago and said, hey, you know, um, our our seat review did pretty well on the views. We got like two or 3,000 views on it. Um, I'd like to do another one, but with a different style seat. Um, this is before I got my new Road Glide. So I was looking for something that is comparable, say, to the Saddleman step-up seat. Um, something a little bit more cooler looking when I don't have the, the trunk on. Um, I'm big on the profile of the bike, and even though the road sofa is by far the most comfortable seat I've ever sat on, um, the side profile of it is horrendous. <laughs> so, you know, it just has that, it just dies off. So, um, yeah, so they have an ex what they say is extended reach seat. Um, I reached out to them, said, hey, I'd like to review this seat. They sent me back an email, which I have all this here saying, hey, that seat is sourced from overseas China and um, it might take a few weeks for it to get in I was okay with that so um, about two weeks ago actually two weeks to the day I bought I got the road glide on a Tuesday um, the seat came in the mail and I was pumped man I got bought a brand new bike <laughs> you know I got me a new bike and I got a new seat coming on the same day it is Christmas in August I thought and so I, I pulled the seat out of the box and um you know, it was a beautiful, beautiful seat, but I noticed something right away. It did not look to be extended reach. So, um, I asked brother Mook to, uh, bring over the other CC rider seat and I gave him the saddleman that came with my bike, which is a step up seat, a not extended reach version, but a step up seat. And, um, so we're going to look into that a little bit. Uh, I'll show you guys when I get back to the house, um, a side-by-side -side comparison of it and i'm not shitting on cc rider about this at all uh I, I do believe they make a very very good seat for the money um if you don't want to spend you know on the big the big ticket uh seats like saddleman or la para or corbin or mustang if you don't want to spend you know seven eight hundred dollars on the seat cc rider is way better than the stock seats that come on Harleys, at least on the 23 and older ones. I heard that the new 24 seats are, are pretty damn good. But again, seats are also very, very personal. When I say this on every single video and with every review, you can review boots, you can review gloves, you can review seats. It all depends on the person who who's wearing it and you know whose ass is in that seat. So um, it's very objective. But We'll go back to the house. We will compare those uh, those seats, and uh, you know this is just more of a of a thing saying, hey, if you're expecting a extended reach seat, maybe do a little bit of research, and I'll dive into that a little bit more. But uh, as for now, we're gonna go wash this pig. <whistles> Only cost twenty bucks to uh, wash the truck, but was that fun, Charles? All right, let's head back to the house and talk seats. All right, we are back home in the dumpster of a garage. Jesus, H, I don't understand it. 
it's just me. Like it's a hundred percent all me, but anyways, so here is this, uh, step up style seat from, uh, CC rider. Let's take a look at that thing. As you can see, it's a really good looking seat, man. It has a really sharp profile. Um, you know, this back here is nice when it sits on the bike. As you can see the, again, the, the quality of the seat is, is really nice. Um, it feels like it could be comfortable. I mean, I did put it on my bike and I sat on it and it felt good on my, on my rear, but I was sitting on top of the gas tank. So, um, let's flip it over. You can see all this other stuff here again for, um, what I noticed on this one compared to the other seat, you got a little bit high quality, um, gloss black finish down here. It's plastic, but, and you have rubber mounts, but again, man, for a less expensive seat, I mean, look at the quality of this thing. I mean, it is stapled, you know, compared to rivets and other seats, but they're all in a row. I mean, they're nicely done. Everything's nice and snug and fit and trimmed. I mean, it's a, my opinion, it's a, it's a quality seat, you know, at an affordable price, but by no means is this a extended reach seat. And I'll show you guys what I mean. Now this is the uh, the seat graveyard. That's what I like to call it. I gotta do something a little bit more um, gooder. But uh, yeah, this is where we keep some of the seats. This is, uh, I think, three of five <laughs> that I might have. But uh, this is the other CC Rider seat that we got um, a few months back. This is one that uh, Brother Mook's been running on his um, Electric Glide, his 2015 Electric Glide, and he absolutely loves this seat. It's a very comfortable seat. I got maybe five, 700 miles on it, and I enjoyed it as well. So, um, But this is an extended reach seat. So let's uh, put these two up here on the old box and compare them. It's like a professional production here, man. I mean, this is, this is nice. But yes, this is the, uh, the new seat. Compared to the other CC Rider extended reach seat. And I'm gonna put these pretty damn close together. And you can see like a, a huge difference. Yes, your butt does sit down in here you know, in this area, but you're folded back a little bit more. This one, I mean, it's, you know, measuring from like here to here, I guess, would be a fair, a fair thing to do. So, uh, let's do that. I am a contractor. You would think I'd have a tape measure or two, but, uh, let's go see what we can find. Uh -huh. All right, I'm going to set this guy up and uh, do some measurements. All right, so we are going to measure. Let me move this thing. It's on wheels. Pretty slick, right? That's what you get here. So I'm going to measure from the butt seam here to the tip. What is, I suggest the butt seam here to the tip. And again, these are different style seats, so it's not really a fair thing as well. But, I mean, it's pretty obvious to see, you know, from where you're at here to where you're at here. You know, it's it's a big difference. So, let's do a couple things. Let's uh, just measure it as it sits. And we got, put it up there. We got 15 inches right there. Now on this, on this other seat, the older CC Rider, which is extended reach, and I feel is extended reach, I got 16 and a half. So right off the bat, we get two different sizes. Um, 
Now from as the crow flies to the back of this seam here, I got, it's hard to see it, but I got 17 and a half from tip to stitch line. Now from tip to stitch line here, I got 19 and an eighth. Again, different style seats, I understand that, but that's your, you know, that's where you're sitting though, you know, so you got 17 and a half. So you got an inch and a half difference, really. You know, that's, that's a lot of space. But, um, I don't know, that's just my two cents on it. I'm not gonna sit here and talk shit about CC Rider because I, again, I do believe in their product. They do sell a good quality product at an affordable price, um, but in no way, shape or form should they be passing the seat off as an extended reach seat. Um, again, very sharp looking, just not extended reach seat. So full disclosure, story time. I reached out to CC Rider um, the day I got this seat and we tried it on, let's rewind. I, my old phone, I recorded this episode once already, just the initial unwrapping, my initial thoughts of first seeing the seat. Uh, Brother Mook was over. I, on my new bike, I had a Saddleman step-up seat that was not um, extended reach, so would not work for me. But Brother Mook liked it, so he took it. Um, that's the reason I have this seat here now. But, uh, and he did, that's just for like a round town type riding. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I put it on my bike and I immediately noticed I was, I'm on top of the tank. I'm actually more on top of the tank than I was on the, um, Saddleman step up that was not extended. I had more reach on that one. Um, not much, but more. So we end up putting Mook on it right away. We, 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 it's just not, it's just not what they say it is. So it might be extended in some way, but it's not your traditional extended reach. If you go on their website and you look the seat up, which I'll tell you exactly what the seat is here in a second. It has all the measurements, all the measurements. It has tip to, to back. It has your width. It has this measurement. The one thing it leaves out is from the tip here to the back. Zero measurements on that, on their little diagram. And I'm going to put this up right here with the so again, if you're a tall guy, you're looking for an extended reach seat and you're through CC Rider, this is probably not the seat for you. They do offer many other choices. I shouldn't say many, they do offer a few other choices. Um, this one is the only other one I've ever ridden on from CC Rider. And I really, I truly do enjoy this seat. I mean, even see here the difference in, in what it is. But um, this is a good looking seat. I said Mook has over 10,000 miles on it. I have five to seven ish on it. So, I mean, you're talking 11,000 miles of traveling on the seat, and it looks brand new still. So, um, it, it hasn't been taken very good care of. <laughs> I'll tell you that. This seat's been through hell. So, um, I'm going to give CC Rider that. And again, I'm not sitting here to try to bash them or anything like that. It was just, it's just a thing, you know? Um, this is a review. They want an honest review, you're gonna get an honest review. Um, unfortunately, I cannot give a true um, long-term review on this seat just because it doesn't fit my big ass. So again, getting back to the email, I let them know about it. Um, this was on a Tuesday, Wednesday. I get an email back Friday at like 1 a.m., which I thought was a little strange because um, I don't know exactly where they're headquartered at. I figured they're here in the States, but this seat did come from China, which, surprise, surprise. Um, yeah, so I got a seat back saying, sorry for the confusion. Would you like to try another seat? They don't have any other seat I really care to try. So I was just, you know, I just want to send it back. Or what do you want me to do with it? So they sent me a FedEx sticker to send it back, which I'm going to do. Um, and that was it. There was no explanation why, you know, just literally sorry for the confusion. So, I mean, that to me is a bit of a red flag on my end. Um, again, I don't want to sit here and bash them, but 
you're trying to pass off an extended reach seat that is actually slightly shorter than a regular stock Harley seat. So it is what it is. That's my two cents on it. I mean, if they don't like it, tough shit. It is what it is. Um, I, uh, I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. Yeah, so that's uh, that's it. That's the, the video today. I do appreciate you guys uh, watching. Um, again, not bashing CC Rider. Um, really disappointed because I thought that seat would be fantastic. It's a beautiful looking seat. It looks to be very well made. Um, it's just not an extended reach seat. And that's the end of the conversation with that. So um, if you guys would like, go check out CC Rider. I'm sure there's something there that, that would work for you guys. They have many, many products. Um, but, you know, that's it for me. <laughs> so, all right, guys, take care. As always, ride with purpose. We'll see you next time. Bye.